What is it, Ada? Hey, everybody, and welcome to our Wednesday Hangout on Air. This is the show and tell show. Mm -hmm. I'm here, Lady Ada, at the Ada Fruit Factory with me and Mr. Lady Ada, but this is your time to shine. This is our half an hour every week at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, where you, the viewer, get to show us your really cool project you're working on, whether it be sewing or crafting or soldering or making or CNCing or 3D printing, whatever it is. We'd love to see it, so please come by every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. to do it live. Right now, we're going to call on people as we see them. Please mute your mic until we're ready to get to you. We have to get out of here at 7.50, so please take two to three minutes when we call on you to show off your amazing project. Okay. And uh, we're gonna kick it off. All right. No and Pedro. No and Pedro. Oh, where'd they go? We're right, right here. here. Hey, guys. No, yeah, for some reason. Oh, close that other window. Close uh, that other thing. Close that thing. Hey. hey, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. How's everybody doing today? We got something for you guys. Yeah, so this week's project is a remake of wait, the 7-inch. No, you oh. still haven't materialized. Can we you're... come back to you? Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, now you're there. Nope. Oh, OK. Wait, what? What? Yeah. What's going on? Nope. 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 Still now? Nope. OK. Well, let's, let's go to someone else. I'm going to refresh. All right, JP. <laughs> hey, JP. am I here? Yeah. Hey, JP. Awesome. Hi, everybody. Uh, so I just wanted to show real quick, I have revised my uh, circuit playground wand and sword uh, learning guide this past week to now include uh, the circuit playground express so I've still got let me uh, drop my brightness here so you can see these so I've still got the motion activation on the sword and the wand and now instead of a Arduino scripted circuit playground I'm using uh, circuit playground express with the Microsoft make code so let me see if I can screen share real quick and this for people who aren't familiar with it is make code so it's a little blockly based interface with a nice little simulator of circuit playground express and so uh, for example I can check what happens when I flip over to the uh, other animation state with a switch and then shake it oh it looks like I've broken it well, maybe it doesn't like being screen recorded. I think it doesn't like this, um, so it's not working. But head over to makecode.adafruit.com, and you can play around with a uh, simulation of your Circuit Playground Express if you don't have one already. And uh, check out the code on the learning guide. Hey, do you mind? Oh, did you? Uh, and the learning guide has the embedded thing, so people can check it out there, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can. Uh, I've got screenshots of how you build those for people who are new to it. Uh, I was just at Maker Fair Bay Area this weekend, and Microsoft had a booth where lots and lots of people, including lots of little kids, were able to go and make their own little wand and then learn to program the Circuit Playground Express using uh, that interface and immediately get cool interactive effects. Uh, it also has a JavaScript built, editor built in, and of course, you can program it with. Uh, our Circuit Python and Arduino IDE. So there's a lot of ways to program those boards. Um, but yeah, if you check out the guide, you'll have a copy of that script right there that you can immediately uh, play around with live. And then when you want to check your code out on the actual board, it's as simple as plugging the board in and double clicking the reset button. It shows up as USB drive, and then you can drag your UF2 file onto it. Boom, it's done. It uh, is really like it. interactive. Okay. It. It's magical. All right. Magic. <laughs> no, Pedro, welcome back. Hey, we see you now. You're wonderful. Hey, can you guys hear us okay? Yes. Yeah. Alrighty. All right, so this week's project is a remake of the 7-inch um, display backpack that we did from a while ago, except that this time we attached a small little um, Windows PC, primarily because when we do a lot of firmware updates to the printer, it's actually a lot smaller than bring over like a MacBook Air to it. And a lot of the programs don't uh, like Macintoshes anymore for some reason. And the coolest thing, which we didn't get to show in the videos, we can actually run other plan to control the CNC uh, machine right from this tiny little guy instead of having to lug over a full-blown computer and had it sit there while we you know waste desk space. So super easy project. Uh, one of the cool things that makes it nice and slim are these cool little um, HDMI connectors that we found. So they are just on a PCB, which makes it a lot smaller than having these, what look like now giant HDMI con uh, connectors. So they come in a bunch of different angles and uh, sizes. And it has this really cool little latching mechanism in there. So you can cool. pretty much uh, use them like Lego. So you can mix and match different uh, oh. HDMI connectors to make really small, like Raspberry Pi, or in this case, um, little computer projects. So I have all the files uploaded on the uh, learning system. 
have all the CAD files. You can update these so you can change all of the geometry and all that around. We got like nice little uh, 3 8 to quarter 20, so you can add this to a tripod. Yay. And uh, that's this week's project. All right, cool. Thanks so much. And for the folks who uh, present after you're done, drop out. So we have a lot of folks trying to get in tonight. So it's It'll be appreciated. a busy night. Phil B. All right. Hello there. Um, kind of a follow up. Last week, uh, I showed um, NTSC video coming out of a Circuit Playground Express. And so this is kind of a, a follow up to that on a, on a similar principle. Um, I have Circuit Playground Express and just a um, alligator clip, uh, one of these uh, test leads clipped onto the analog zero pin, and a uh, radio tuned to 5.40 AM. And if you get them close by, um, you'll hear Godzilla roaring <laughs> over the radio. Um, so it's, it's transmitting AM radio, not very far. It's only a few inches. But um, I hope it gives people kind of this idea that um, you can do crazy things with microcontrollers that they might not have been intended to do. Um, so the code, the GitHub, um, the Adafruit GitHub uh, account already has the code online if, uh, if someone wants to try it out. And there will be a guide up shortly. It's neat. You could give people a bunch of these radios and have an art installation where as they got close to something, they could hear what it's doing. Exactly. Yeah, you're not going to be sending it across the house or anything. It's it's literally a foot or less. Yeah, pirate radio is fine in your own home. Yeah, one thing you. I mean, yeah. we can try getting a bigger antenna, like making a loop antenna, and then we'll see how far we can get. That'd be fun. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I hope I hope I hope it gives folks ideas. Okay. On, uh, okay. Neat. Thanks so much. We're gonna keep yeah. along. We got some more folks who join. Um, oh, Scott, you uh, Ooh. you went away. That went away thing. Yeah, that's okay. Go to Aaron. Aaron. Hey, hey Aaron. Aaron. Oh, we can't hear you. Oh, yeah. There we oh, go. No, I can. Um, I, I'm here to show off my Wonder Woman bracers. So the Wonder Woman movie is coming out in a couple of weeks, and I'm super excited. I was Wonder Woman for Halloween when I was six years old, <laughs> and, uh, and it's, been a, it's been a long and crazy ride. But I made these uh, Wonder Woman bracers. Um, I'm going to do a power switch. And what they do is just like Wonder Woman, they are sound sensitive and motion sensitive so that I can make a loud noise and they get off. Bang! So I can uh, <laughs> block imaginary bullets with them, uh, make a lot of noise, they go off like crazy. They're also motion sensitive, so if I always look this out. So That's if move it quickly like I'm blocking a bullet, then it'll also go off. Um, it has another mode if I press the button on the circuit playground so that it's just on all the time uh, because I know that when you're a cosplayer, you're at these events and you have to like stand there and let people take your picture for an hour and a half. Um, and you don't want to have to keep, you know, moving your arm or yelling bang every time like somebody's about to snap the shutter. So uh, there's a mode for that too. They are made with a circuit playground. Um, and oh, let me see if I can turn it off so you can see a little bit better. Oh, it looks. But uh, they're made with the circuit playground and uh, some warbler. And then the, the main part is made out of acrylic that I, I just melted in the oven so that it would fit around my arm um, with uh, little neopixels, skinny neopixels along the edges here, uh, lighting up the edges of the acrylic. Um, and it just is such a cool looking thing. Like it looks like it's got lightning inside. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like glowing from within. It's beautiful. Um, and, and they look a lot like the ones in the movie trailer, so I'm gonna have to get all dressed up and go to the movie. <laughs> I'll say, I like at some point on a long enough cosplay timeline, you're like, well, let me put it in a mode for photos because yeah. <laughs> no, it's perfect. Okay, awesome. Because exactly like we we were yeah, no, that's so true. Yeah, when we go to Comic Con, there's there's folks that they have to do something every single time. They have for to their pose costume. there with their their phaser yeah, or their like, sword, okay. and they're just like, uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> all right. Okay. Next up, Scott. Scott. Hey. hey, I'll be super fast. We've got lots of people. But uh, we went to PyCon, and it was super duper fun. And I just posted a bunch of pictures from PyCon, so you should be able to see it. Oh, yeah. And uh, so I just did this Flickr album. I posted it on the blog. So if you see the blog, you could just go down there, and there's a link to the album. Um, so now I'm at my parents and somebody's calling. So I will call it and let you go to someone else. Okay. Pick up the phone. <laughs> Thanks, right. Scott. Scott's Thanks, mom. Scott. Bye. No problem. Bye.
All right, next up. Hey, Sophie. Sophie. Hey, Hi, Sophie. Sophie. I'm your Mike and Joe's project. Oh, can't hear you. We see a really cool project. Try muting your mic or changing the mic. It might be time for Maker Charades. If it's Maker Charades, that'd be cool. No, we still can't hear you. But can't hear you. we can see your awesome project. Yeah. This looks yes. like something you made, and this looks like a Ghostbuster. This is a proton Ghostbuster pack. proton pack, and it's awesome. <laughs> it's got so many LEDs, and it's got like the seven segment indicators. It's probably yeah. like Neo pixels in there. Yeah, like the seven segments and quad segments. Perfect for busting oh, ghosts. Yeah, you're busting ghosts. Okay, and then. Uh, oh, you even got. The, what's it called? A wand? What's it called? A phaser? Thing? Stream. Okay, stream thing. And then you stream. press the button, yeah. something happens. It probably, yeah. it probably makes a sound that we can't hear. It catches ghosts. And then it catches ghosts. That's cool. And then the end lights up a little bit. There's probably a ghost who's like, I'm going to mute the mic because the ghost didn't want to yeah, know about this that's project. That's probably why. Well, that's right. a really cool project. Sophie, this is fantastic. If you can um, email support at adafruit.com, we'll give you a seen on the show and tell sticker, which does work on that. I think that's. It's in that universe. It's okay. Yes. This is Sino Chantel Sticker. Yeah. And uh, if you have any photos or anything, um, also send it and we'll post it up on the blog. And you can come back next week. Sometimes people are like, ah, they come back next week and like, all their problems are solved and the audio works great. Yeah, so there's, it's fine too. You just have to catch that ghost that mutes the mind. Grab the mute ghost. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Sophie. All right. Next up, Virgil. Hey, Virgil. Welcome back. Thank you. Yes. yes. And you're seeing me. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I upgraded my computer since the last time I was <laughs> on, so, so this should be better. We can start. Uh, Looks great. This is a um, reprise of uh, a three-year-old project I did, which was, I can see this donkey. And the donkey, yeah. when I turn him on, he has to start. He plays a song and moves his head. Mm-hmm. I was never really happy with that because I've got the, I have that external battery pack. So I decided to try something different. I can get this camera cable over here. Uh, so I decided to. Uh, can you see? All right. Yeah. yeah. Right here, there's a uh, a stacked uh, feather. There's a, a, a PWM servo board on top of a uh, music maker on top of a feather M zero. Oh. And that uh, uh, that it reduces the amount of stuff I have to have inside the donkey considerably because I've got a an enclosure that has a, a trinket three volt and a uh, a um, an amplifier, a mono class D amp, and um, a servo board and some other stuff in there. This just makes it a lot simpler. So if I bring it out, I've got this. Um, double pole single throw rocker switch which will make me back external to donkey and i can put both because i need the uh the light bulb battery for the feather and the uh four by double a for the servo so i need both those things so when i turn that on i also decided to add another servo the music sounds better because they, 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 there's a faster processor so it's not the, so it actually plays at a real speed and I decided to add another uh, motor so I can, another servo, so I can uh, move his tail too. When I do cool. that. so that's cool. That's my, uh, that, that's my project for uh, when my granddaughter is here this summer. All right. Well, awesome. Virgil, you have a choice. You can get an asking note on the show and tell sticker now, or wait till it's completed and come back and show it. Dealer's choice. I have a couple, so I'll wait for the next one. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you so much, Virgil. Like that he's working on. I'm jealous of Virgil's granddaughter because she must think that her grandfather is like a magical toy maker who he can, is. He is a magical who can toy make maker. toys come alive. That is true. That is exactly right. All right. Uh, let's see. Angela. Angela. Hey, Angela. Hi, Angela. Show us your project. Hi, sure. So I'm actually working with Austin too, and he's hey. on the call as well. Yeah. Um, so we made Wish B&B. and it's an app for basically children in hospitals, and they'd be able to pin photos of places. Um, that they like, and it would show like a top destination based off of it um, with Clarify API. Um, so if Austin, you want to show yeah. screen share? Yeah. yeah um, I can show, uh, this is cool. You coordinated. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. So this is Wish B&B. Um, we, uh, so let me show you how we're going to try and train it for Hawaii. So it's kind of like Pinterest, where they can pin photos. Uh, and we tried to create a really approachable uh, solution. Um, 
Okay, let me just go. To give it the links to images, and then it should be able to. Oh, it matches it to Honolulu, Hawaii. And this is the page so far, but then the parents can come in, then go and see what the Airbnb suggestion is. And we have this form over here that oh, they wow. can crowdfund out and send these emails to people that are sort of like a custom crowdfunding solution for the Wish BNB sort of, uh, trips. Um, it was sort of inspired by ex my experiences with my younger sister. When she was younger, um, she was in the hospital. Oh, that, I just figure out how to stop screen sharing. Um, Sorry, I'm just going to turn my video off. But when yep. she was younger and she was in the hospital, she, we told her she could have anything she wanted. And so we told, asked her, and she said she wanted a puppy. So we got her Diva the Diabetes Dog. And that just brought so much joy to her life. And as I got older and as I learned like the program and make websites, I wanted to give that experience to other people. So I worked with Angela at Wells' Hackathon. We actually won Best iOS Hack at that hackathon. Oh, great. To Congrats. Make a website, an iOS app, and just a really cool project that could bring that joy to other kids' lives. This is great. Where can people find out more about this? Sure. We have a website um, called wishbnb.life. Mm -hmm. uh, also, and we also have a dev post, uh, also called wishbnb, on that. And it gives more information, and there's a little um, info video and everything. So. All right. Well, thank you, both of you. You get as seen on the show and tickle uh, stickers. You can wear them yourself. But thank you for taking something like BNB and all this web technology and using it for a cause. Not every app needs to be just something someone purchases or whatever. This is really neat because a lot of people want to go do and see something. And this is a neat way to match it up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. I like the, right. the crossing with Pinterest. I like it's like the, the person has an interest or something yeah. that something that inspires them. I mean, a seashell might symbolize for them yeah. you know, freedom and the beach and yeah. the sun. And then it matches up. And then it matches That's up. Cool. What might allow them to actually fulfill that? This is what we should use AI for, by the way. Yeah. Not, not, not teach them to be androids. We just saw Alien. Watch out for that. Yeah. Okay. I do a ton of these projects that blend like AI and trying to help people with disabilities. I think there's so much potential for that. Yeah. yeah. I think we got AI nailed for like the stock market. Let's maybe move on to the, the good stuff. And like now. weird yeah. dog images. Exactly. We got that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to get to everyone tonight. If everyone can keep it to like a minute and a half or so. Vladimir. Vladimir, show us your project. Hey, Vladimir. Hello, I have this uh, Swiss base um, automation contraption here. So basically, um, this was inspired by the Make Anything YouTube channel who made these little or 3D printed these Swiss containers. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. So I, I really got into it and I designed my own Infusion 360 and 3D printed it. And then the next step was just to go as big as I can. So I then. Uh, <laughs> This is the next fidget spinner, by yeah. the way. I gotta watch, I gotta warn you. You're gonna see kids buying these for yeah. five bucks everywhere. <laughs> so after I made the the big one, then the next step was to, hey, why don't I automate it? So then this it came next. So I'll just plug this in and show you how this works. Oh, that's great, dude. My mind is blown. Yeah, that's amazing. So it, it's basically a little micro servo, and it uses a um, circuit playground. So this is the first time I'm actually using the circuit playground. Um, I, I started off with the uh, Arduino Uno. Let me just unplug this so I can talk, um, so you can hear me. And I was just going to go ahead and uh, do some uh, wire up some LEDs. And then I thought, oh, wait a minute, I have some NeoPixel rings. And then I thought, oh, wait a minute, I have a circuit playground that already comes with the LEDs already in it. So I went ahead and just used just that board. So if I lift this up, you can see here, um, that's the circuit playground just wired in there. So basically- Sorry, what's the white thing I, I, that was connected to? Oh, and this is just a piece from um, a proto, uh, proto perma board. Oh, OK. So you only needed a little piece of it just to go ahead and solder my mm -hmm. limit switch and uh, um, the connection for the servo motor. Got it. So I just use that, and then I run the wires in through the pipes to the switch here. So when the vase goes up, it hits the switch, it tells the motor to reverse and go back down, yeah. put a magnet in here. And it's just a little M3 nut here that it clicks and just attaches it. So yeah, I took it to a little mini make affair. It was a big hit. Everyone just locked yep. by. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I kind of want to like meditate in front of it or something. It's just yeah, like, exactly. really well, outstanding. Well, email support at Adafruit.com. We'll send you an as seen on the show and tell sticker. And if you take photos or any videos, also send it in and we'll do a, a blog post. 
Oh, thanks. Actually, this was a feature on the 3D Hangouts today. So I, oh. uh, nice. what was funny is I, I sent an email because uh, I wrote a blog post on it, and then Noah wrote me back and said, actually, we've already featured it. <laughs> so, so that was pretty Now you're on the show and tell. It is obviously amazing. All right, so we have okay. three more people. We'll get to everyone. Just keep it to one minute each, which is usually plenty of time. Caleb, Caleb, I mean, your mic shows your project. Yeah, I nice one. Ah, hello. 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 All right, so you can hear me good. Yeah, you sound great. All right, actually, hang on, let me lower my mic a little bit. So uh, hang on while I grab my project real quick. So I always I like the projects where they go away and then come back. Yes. <laughs> I saw on Amazon that. Uh, you can buy this glow-in-the-dark powder. And so I got some, and I decided to play around with it. And I also saw that they had test tubes for really cheap. And so I made this. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah, this is just uh, the glow-in-the-dark powder. And I charge it up with an ultraviolet light that I'll show you guys in a second. But yeah, the mixture is uh, the powder itself is super fine and will settle to the bottom of water. And so I put in some corn syrup. And so that suspends it really good for a while. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I still was running into the problem where if you left it overnight, for instance, it would settle. And so <laughs> to solve that, well, a more per permanent solution will be to, of course, make a mixture that doesn't settle as easy. But for now, <laughs> I've made this device here. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> no, I think you're done. Dude, okay. you and Vlad yeah. have to get together. Yeah, I'm just done. saying, I see something big here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just an Arduino with a servo attached. And I had this uh, rubber ring thing laying around, and I just wrapped that around the tube. I think this is how they make uranium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the perfect perfect uh, mad science laboratory prop. Yeah. It's cool. Actually, so walks in your room, it's like, what is he doing? That was my intention when I was making it. See yeah. This, uh, that's light weird. I bought off of Amazon. All right. Well, um, thank you so much. This is I like these projects because they they're like cosplay and mad scientists and all that. And I like that you had to make all these additions. Oh, I didn't want it to settle, so now I had to. Yeah, I completely derailed the uh, company Slack earlier. When yeah. I was yeah. All right. Outstanding. Well, email support at adafruit.com, and we'll send you out to Essien on the show and tell, tell, tell sticker for you can put it on the tube. Whatever. All right. Okay, we got two more folks. We're going to go to Hart, and then we're going to go to Lon. And hey, Hart. Hey, Hart. Hey, I'm so excited to show off my project. Yay! Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Uh, oh, no, I put on my camera. So behind me is an umbrella, and it's powered by an ESP8266, so I can control it with my phone. Oh, nice. It's got a bunch of LEDs, NeoPixels, mm -hmm. uh, and you can change the color or whatever, throw on an effect, whatever you want to do. Um, fun stuff, running fast LED. Um, and it's portable, so battery powered. You can bring it to festivals or camping or whatever. Walk around with it for if you're at a concert. Yeah. Um, and I've used it in, over the summertime for that purpose, and it's a lot of fun. A lot of people like it. So. Oh, so this, cool. This is great. We made a Flora um, clear umbrella. I know. Um, I was inspired by that. Yeah, and when it rains, um, it just stops everyone. They're just like, "Where did you get that umbrella? Tell me about it." It's a great way to show a project that. You know, normally electronics are inside boxes or whatever, but it would, when it's an umbrella and it's raining, especially if someone is getting wet, they're also going, hey, can I get under the umbrella? You can talk to them about it. So. That's so neat. All right. Outstanding well, it's a really big umbrella, so everyone can crowd under it. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, it's just awesome. Like, you're underneath it, and it's just joyful and yeah. LED and blinky. All right. Well, email support at adafruit.com for a sticker, and then if you have any photos or videos, uh, email them to us, and we'll put up on the blog. Yeah. Thank you. Thank That's you so cool. much, Art. I like the background there. All right, Lon, we got to get out in like a couple minutes, but no problem. Take so you'll see me again next week because I'm getting ready for Maker Fair uh, Minneapolis here All in right. nine days. Um, but uh, first things first, uh, we have the old space gun. Um, I totally took this one apart and replaced all the wires with the lovely silicone coated multi stranded wire, made everything much cleaner. Originally, the works in a drawer, if you remember, remember, we had the electronics on the works in a drawer. Yep, this side. Uh, and that was made out of cardboard, and over the years, that's kind of swollen up now. But now we have a little clear plastic l lid on there. Yeah. So that's all working great. Got that all upgraded. Got the pew-pew sound. Pew-pew. Uh, and then, although I do have one issue that, uh, oh, we do have a little whine going on. I have to figure out how to clean up the, the, uh, the power going to the amplifier. 
Luckily, um, at events, it's so loud. That's true. <laughs> Uh, and this is the guts for the Mark II. Um, we've talked about before all the parts on there. Um, it, this board gets used while I'm streaming. I'm streaming almost every day now, uh, getting ready for a Maker Fair. Yep. Um, I managed to fry the the sound effects board that uh, Bill had sent me early on with the uh, the one that had the integrated amplifier. Uh, I managed to blow the amplifier section on that. Uh, so we got the new Congrats. one. <laughs> yep. Um, and even at the quiet mode. Oh, uh, what we worked on today was uh, setting up the uh, configuration modes. Oh, okay, let's see. Do it backwards. Yep. There we go. Oh, that's nice. And then are we in configuration modes? No. Nope. So now it's uh, got the 14 segment display. It's saying the name of the mode. Oh, nice. Uh, which mode are we in? Position in Saber Trek TNG. So we'll lock that one in. And now we should get sound effects from Star Trek Next Generation. Nice. Good. Make it so. And so every position has different sounds. So you can move the gun around and make different sounds. And so, yeah, those are the guns. Uh, tonight we'll be pulling this apart and uh, replacing that with the Pro Trinket and jamming it inside the gun. Oh, the gun itself has got many coats of primer. Uh, there's glossy, 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 glossy white portions that have all been masked off. Uh, we'll be airbrushing metallic blue over the gray parts that you see now. Uh, so that'll all be done in a couple of days. Uh, and then the game show system and a bunch of other stuff that I'll show off next week. OK. Awesome. Thank you so much. You get an As Seen on the Show and Tell sticker. And if you want, we'll send you a Sparky the Blue Smoke Monster. Just include that in the email to support. I will do that. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you so you much. Long. Thank you, everyone. We'll see everyone on Ask an Engineer in one minute. Yes. Bye. Whew.